Crazy to think that we are already in the month of October and closing in towards the end of this year. And surely this means we hear from Rockstar Games regarding GTA 6 in relation to Trailer 2, as well as the marketing phase, which will surely be kicking into full gear very, very imminently. But before we get straight into it today, guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome on in. Please consider subscribing to Project Vice, like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upcoming GTA 6 upload. And I'm proud to announce that we have hit 5,000 subscribers, which I'm absolutely so grateful for your guys' support on every single video is so very very much appreciated we're halfway to 10,000 subscribers so i want to say thank you to each and every single one of you watching my videos but other than that let's hop straight into the video so questions on a lot of people's mind in the community at the moment is and first of all is when is trailer 2 coming and secondly when is rockstar games going to finally break their 10 month silence which is still ongoing at the moment a lot of the gta and rockstar games community have grown tired which is understandable considering the lengthy amount of time that Rockstar have been silent for without providing any single update in relation to the game. All we know currently at the moment from Rockstar Games themselves is of course the official release of Trailer 1 and everything that was included within it. And in extension to this, obviously the official communications from Rockstar Games as well, such as their official press release, the welcome to Leonardo message. Other than that, we haven't heard a peep out of them since then regarding the game, but we have heard from their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, where they have provided an official release time frame for the game, that being next year in fall of 2025, between the months of September to November, which is the expected time frame of GTA 6 to be releasing. So that's everything officially we know from Rockstar and Take Two. But now getting into a little bit more of the educated speculation side of things, basing it off Rockstar's patterns in the past, but also what has been occurring in the news today, circulating everything surrounding the game. So in answering the question, when are we likely to hear an update from Rockstar Games regarding Trailer 2? Well, we can base it off a few things in relation to the news out there. And that is one of the big announcements that did occur in the last many weeks was that Sony and PlayStation officially unveiled the PlayStation 5 Pro. And this console in Sony and PlayStation's eyes is the meal ticket to have the best possible experience playing Grand Theft Auto 6. And the thing about the PS5 Pro is that it is set to launch on November 7th of this year, which is just over a month away as of the recording of this video. Now, why does that matter, you might ask? Now, I'll get to that in a moment. But before we do, we have to trace our steps back prior to Trailer 1, where Sam Hauser and Rockstar Games came out with a post on social media announcing that Grand Theft Auto 6's Trailer 1 will be set to release in early December. Now, one of the interesting things that came out of this following it was that Take-Two did have their quarterly earnings call a few hours after this post went out. Now, that was definitely done intentionally on behalf of Rockstar and Take-Two to, of course, drive up interest in relation to the company and, of course, for GTA 6 to officially start getting the official communication and the word out there that the trailer is going to be set to launch in early December of last year. Now, in connecting these dots together, and you're probably already working it out in your head, and that is that Take-Two is going to have their next earnings call in mid-November. Now, even though it's not officially confirmed that the call is going to be taking place on a certain day in November, it is very likely that it is going to happen because these calls do happen every quarter. Now, seeing that the Take-Two call is going to be around mid-November, the fact that the PS5 Pro is going to be launching on November 7th, and that Rockstar haven't said a lick of a word or anything, any update in relation to GTA 6 since last year, since the trailer launched. This is shaping up very nicely for all three parties to finally come out and communicate that the next trailer is going to be launching. Now, in terms of the initial communication of providing an update, that will obviously solely come from Rockstar Games first, and then it'll likely come from Sony, PlayStation, and of course, Take-Two following this. And we have seen numerous reports out there claiming that Rockstar and Sony have a partnership in relation to GTA 6 and the upcoming Trailer 2 and of course, in relation to the PS5 Pro. So yes, not only from the reports and rumors out there, but even from former Sony president, Jim Ryan, back in 2020, where he officially announced that the PlayStation partnership with Rockstar Games will be continuing on a PlayStation 5. So based off all this information presented to us, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that Rockstar and Sony likely have a partnership for the upcoming Trailer 2 and when the game is released. I expect the Trailer 2 probably have some type of PS5 Pro, Sony, PlayStation logo or lettering within that video, some communication there and relationship with Rockstar Games is likely going to be the case. So based off all of this, my thoughts are that, and this is a likely scenario, even envisioning it in my head, 
is that Rockstar, Sony, PlayStation, and Take-Two Interactive, something will be likely occurring within mid-November, whether it's trailer two screenshots or an announcement of the next trailer coming official updates communication from rockstar is likely going to be occurring around this particular point in time it just makes sense in my head i'd like to get your thoughts down in that comment section below but moving on when will the marketing phase kick off in relation to gta 6 when will we actually start seeing promotional posters tv advertisements billboard advertisements all across the globe when will that actually start occurring well first of all basing it off what rockstar have done in the past in relation to gta 5 now i know this is going down the educated speculation route once again but we do have an idea of what they have done and that is that after trailer 2 did get released with GTA 5, we actually did see pre-orders starting to go live around this particular point in time. And following this, this is where we also saw more promotional posters from Rockstar getting released. Firstly, that one with the Bikini Girl holding up the peace sign with the iFruit phone. And then following that, we also saw the exclusive look from popular magazine company Game Informer, who announced their closure only just nearly a couple of months ago. They gave us an exclusive look at GTA 5. And with this, we saw that infamous poster with our three playable protagonists, that being Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. Now, after this point, which was around late 2012, going into the new year, we saw numerous updates from Rockstar Games in relation to them providing us screenshots and other stuff as well. And then shortly after this, around mid-2013 or so, that's when we actually started seeing uh, billboards advertisements around the globe as you can see the one on screen in Los Angeles with Michael Franklin and Trevor so in terms of the marketing phase in relation to GTA 6 I expect that there will be a similar approach from Rockstar that once trailer 2 is officially unveiled and released which hopefully is likely before the year ends and following this I'd expect that Rockstar will follow a similar pattern where we will see likely pre-orders going live and then that's when we'll start to see more promotional posters being released wallpapers and potentially exclusive looks at GTA 6 from companies such as IGN or any other type of gaming outlet. And I'm sure that's when we'll start to see everything kick into full gear in the new year and beyond getting close to, of course, later in the year when the game is expected to release. All those TV advertisements, billboards and everything that you will be seeing out in the real world is going to be occurring up until the game's release. It's going to be definitely an insane time. You'll see it plastered everywhere on bus trains, any type of form of public transport, buildings, you name it, GTA 6 will be plastered everywhere. Similar to how you see Call of Duty getting advertised on an annual basis, this will be occurring for us GTA fans. But the good thing is for all of us is that this is going to be an absolute massive event that now only occurs once in a decade, which is absolutely crazy. But other than that, guys, now I want to hear from you down in that comment section below. What do you make of everything we discussed today? What do you think of when Trailer 2 is releasing the partnership between Rockstar Games, Sony and PlayStation in relation to GTA 6 and of course the PlayStation 5 Pro? And in addition to this, what we spoke about later in the video, and that is in relation to the marketing phase of GTA 6 and when we are going to be seeing that kick into full gear from Rockstar. By that guys, if you went on to enjoy this video and have found any informative value, please consider liking and subscribing to Project Vice. It definitely helps out the channel and gets me to keep making GTA 6 content for you guys, which I'm very passionate about, as you guys know. By that guys, stay safe, have a great day, and I am out.